guys, welcome to Pankti's tutorial. In this video lecture, I will be introducing to you some of the important discrete time signal and those signal are unit step signal, unit impulse signal and unit ramp signal. And when I am introducing all these signals to you, what I will do is, I will show it to you how the signal was in continuous time domain and how it has changed when it is a discrete time signal. So we will start the discussion of discrete time signal with the first important discrete time signal and that is discrete time unit step signal. Before going on to how is discrete time unit step signal, let us have a look at what was continuous time unit step signal. So when I talk about a continuous time unit step signal, this was a signal that had a value 1 for all the instants of time when t was greater than or equal to 0. And for value of t which was less than 0, the value of the signal was 0. Now a discrete time unit step signal is similar to a continuous time unit step signal but with the only difference that now the value will not be present for all the time instant but it will be present only for the time instance with integer values. So a discrete time unit step signal is denoted with u of n where n can only take integer values and it has a value 1 for n greater than or equal to 0 and for n less than 0 the value of the signal is 0 and this is how it is given in the form of waveform where it has got a value 1 for all the positive values of the integer and its value is 0 for all the negative value of the integer. Let's now have a look at the second type of discrete time signal and that is discrete time unit impulse signal. This was what we had for the continuous time unit impulse signal. Its value was equal to infinite for t is equal to 0 and for other values of time the value of the signal was 0. And one important property that was related to the continuous time unit impulse signal was that when we take the integration over the complete time interval, its value was coming out to be equal to 1. And this is the property from which we derive the discrete time unit impulse signal. The discrete time unit impulse signal does not have an infinite value. The value of the discrete time signal at n is equal to 0 time instant is 1. And for the other time instance, it is 0. So this is how the discrete time unit impulse signal is given in the form of an equation. It is denoted with delta m and it has a value for n is equal to 0. It has a value 1 for n is equal to 0. And for the other values of n, the value of the signal is 0. Let's now see the next important discrete time signal and that is discrete time unit ramp signal. Now the discrete time unit ramp signal is very much similar to the continuous time unit ramp signal just that at the place of t we have n because when t is there for the continuous time domain t can take any real value but n can take only the integer values. So to have it in the discrete form we have the argument now for the discrete time unit ramp signal as n and this is how the discrete time unit ramp signal is given. It is denoted with R of n where R of n is equal to n at n greater than or equal to 0 and its value is 0 for n less than 0. And this is the waveform of the unit ramp signal. I hope you find this video useful in understanding the important discrete time signals. Thank you for watching it and if you have liked the video please hit on the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.